All right, guys, so I didn't expect this at all. Um, as you guys know, I am sponsored by Equilibrium Tuning, EQT, and here, for the last almost two years, uh, Cobb has not supported the Gen 4 cars yet. So I hooked up with Racing Line, I hooked up with 034, getting the ECU and TCU tuned from them. Um, gotten great times with them. They're great, they're awesome. I love their files, I switch back and forth all the time. As a lot of you guys know, we chat a lot on the Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should right here down below. Because there's a lot of stuff coming here with the Cobb. <laughs> we got the Cobb for the Gen 4. Now, they don't support the TCU yet. So I'll be running either Racing Line or 034 um, trans tunes until uh, Cobb supports that. But uh, I actually, we just got accepted on our house yesterday right so like they're watching our, all of our accounts and stuff i wasn't able to even buy this like ed himself vouched for me and talked to cobb i didn't even ask him to do that he just like randomly messaged me and he's like i got good news for you cobb is comping you an ap and it'll be on the way as soon as you give me your address and i was like holy effing crap um I, i'm still like kind of in shock from it but uh here we are, we got an access port, uh, pretty wild. I don't think it's any different than the one I had before with my Mark 7. No, look, looks the same, sorry, my daughter's being herself. She wants to see what's going on, but um, I guess I'll fast forward to Sunday night when I'm flashing this, because I'm still on a full tank of 93. So um, Ed's gonna start us out on 85, and we're gonna try and crack into the tents. I didn't even think about recording this till now, but I figured this would be a decent spot to put this. I'll get in the driver's sheet and show you guys. Well, I guess you can kind of see from here how it'll look. Let's zoom out a little bit. Sorry, my fingers, but it should be a decent spot, I think. Um, so what I went ahead and did here, there's an eight millimeter it's right up, right there. And then to get the, geez, was this thing focus? To get this fella off for the hood latch, there is just a little, a little clip that you pop out from behind. If I had more than two hands, it'd be a lot easier to show you. But this just slips on in like that. I just got this little guy right here, boom, hooked it, popped it out. Same with this, as you can see, sides in like this. I just popped it about, about right here and this whole thing just popped out. So I'm gonna try and route, plug this in and route the cables, sit the cables down in here and have one cable coming out, going up to the AP. And then I just ordered a little, um, what do they call them, sticky cable, zip tie thing so it's a 3m guy it'll stick right here and it has a little slot for a cable so it'll hold the cable going in the right spot which i won't have till probably tomorrow or the next day but uh let's see let's see how this pans out all right this is what i came up with i'm gonna go grab the ap here in a moment just wanted to show you guys it's like almost a i hit the end button almost a perfect spot here for the cables so I kind of tied them up pushed them in kind of measured it out where I think it's gonna land so I'm gonna leave this off clean my tools up go grab my AP and uh, see how the cable looks but I'm liking it so far all right close the door get a little less reflection that's gonna be it that's gonna be her not a big fan of mounting AP, but um, I think I'll get used to it, at least until we get a P3 gauge in that area. Um, well, I won't even really need that unless uh, Cobb never supports flex fuel. So I'm hoping when they drop it for the Mark 7s, it'll also come for the Mark 8s. That way we can read ethanol on there and just have maybe two files, uh, an eco file flex and like a go hard flex tunes and then maybe a couple different 
TCU files, once they come into play, we, we can't tune uh, transmissions yet with these on the Evo cars, but uh, in time, maybe have like a, you know, whatever cruising TCU file and then like a couple with different um, launch control, boost pressure um, variants, depending on, you know, the surface and the grip and all that stuff. So I think we're good to go here. Go ahead and toss this trim on, see how it fits. Like a glove, baby. Like a glove. And like I said, I'm going to get one of them little tie things and just kind of try and clean this up slightly. This sucks that this is so stiff and this is so big. It'd be nice if you had it be able to get these, like a 90 degree one or one that, I don't know. Nothing I can do about it, but yeah, looking good. Let's shut the door. Oops, didn't shut it all the way, but you get the idea. I didn't even really, there's a close up here on how the cable comes through. It doesn't even affect this panel at all. And this already had kind of a gap, like this really isn't that tight there. So nice. Very nice. Flashing has begun. Now, I don't have a file for med yet. This is just the Cobb 91 tune, so I got that much fuel I gotta use before we can do the E85. I wound up having to put some fuel in. Cobb sent the wrong access port, so Cobb had to call and send me a new key to change it to the Mark 8 type, and it's been been a day or two here, but uh, we're making progress. Nice. Boys, here we are. Time for 85. We got the file just a little bit ago. So we ran the car down to absolutely zero. Ran it on zero for about 15 minutes on the highway at about 80. So we'll see how much we get into the tank here. And then uh, we gotta go drive around for like five minutes. Still on this file, which is just the Cobb file, and then we can flash this once we assume that the rest of the pump gas uh, made it through the system. It's like uh, prices went down ever so slightly. Let's see what we end up with. I think the tank's 14.5, so as long as we get pretty close to that 14 gallon range, I'll be happy. Oh my, how much fuel do we have left? Wow, we were close. <laughs> three quarters or no less than yeah less than one quarter of a gallon left in the car nice all right guys here we go flash time change your cu map zoom on in there let's go let's go let's go hood popped there we go well, I didn't want to flash it first. So if you have an S3 or a Golf R, even Mark 8, S, uh, 8Y, your hood has to be up for sure. But it, it it kept saying it couldn't put my ECU into whatever mode. So I turned off Bluetooth and I turned on the hazards. And for some reason, that made it want to work. So good stuff. All right, here we are. First start. We don't have access to all the gauges yet since it's such a new car they're working on adding all the stuff we'd want to see so i threw a couple random things on these gauges suck zero to 3200 psi are you dumb like why would that not be like i don't know 40 50 not 32 freaking hundred dumb um yeah just whatever cold start let's go for a rip little concerned about this coil pack man i wish we could zoom all the way in there. i guess you can see it there that build up there it's like build up you would get on like a battery that was left in a remote or a toy for like years um it's like exactly the same as that and it kind of smells funny it's definitely not lube i'm not sure here but it ain't great maybe this Intake hitting on the... It's my fans and radiator. It 
So as you guys just saw in that clip, um, I'm gonna have to cut some cardboard and form it into those slots where the intercooler, it's like a U and then the um, radiator goes inside this U. Well, this U is too wide and it just, it's able to like rock back and forth in there. So that makes sense. He was, Ed was saying to check over my engine bay to see if there's anything loose. Cause I'm getting a lot knock at low at the beginning, like of a, of the log. He said, there might be something loose in there. He also said to put my cool packs back to stock and uh, we'll have another video on that. Cause I noticed something today with cylinder one, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get that fitted. And then this, the intake can kind of hit on that. So we're gonna raise the filter up probably half an inch. Well, after uh, some bruised up arms and some tight spaces, <laughs> we finally got it. You can kind of see right there, my little piece of cardboard that I shoved in there. Let's try and get some, some zoomage there. There you go. Oh my goodness. Let's focus on the wrong things, of course, but there's one. Zoom out a little bit. Uh, right down in there, right there. Boom. My goodness, this 5X zoom is going to take some getting used to. Now the whole thing does not move. Give you a shake test here. No movement at all. Ah, that stuff's in there tight. And I moved the intake up ever so slightly. It's no longer hitting on that little nub right there. So, I think, at least for loose things, we'll keep checking around here. I gotta put the clips back on this stuff over here, but I think we're good. All right, guys, we are on the second revision now with the 85. It's been raining all day, so the roads are a little wet, and my tires are at, I don't know, 34, 35 PSI. So I could lower them down and get more grip, but I am just really curious on uh, like an eighth mile pull real quick, just to see. Ed's, Ed's wondering, I'm wondering. So we got a couple data logs right before this. We'll data log this dig run and uh, yeah, just see what we get. Uh, don't know how many more revisions we're gonna get. I don't know where a good road for this is gonna be exactly, but we're gonna find out. That looks like a good road right there. I might have to flip a U-turn there and try. But anyway, I have, haven't launched the car yet uh, with EQT's file. Quarter so mile. I'm really curious to see uh, how it'll be. All right, guys, this is not ideally at all the length that we want, but we can at least test, I don't know, a little bit. Data log. to zero to 60 there. Shoo! She spun, huh? One more for the vlog. Oh my goodness. Woo! That thing is freaking fast. Oh my God. If we can hook... Quarter mile. Oh, my heart just went to my... My butthole. Let's see what that was. That had to have been a decent eighth. Eighth mile, seven, three, four. With the one, seven, seven, sixty foot. You heard me spinning. At 96, that might be our best yet. Like ever, ever. What? All right, we're going to screenshot this real quick. Let me show you guys. Okay. Little bit of a transition here. See some airplanes. See my toolbox. Your boy got a new job. Working on aircraft again. It's been a couple years since I've uh, touched a plane, but uh, here we are. <laughs> 